Welcome to PC Wits Kids Answer Back episode number 41. More great questions from you guys, starting with you've got an intermittent problem with your display, it either goes blank or maybe you get messages about your display drivers not loading, things like that. So what could be the possible causes of all of this? Well, if your display just goes blank, um, just out of the blue, maybe you're getting a monitor display message that says that the signal is not detected all of a sudden just like that. Check your cables, check your connections, take out the video card actually, so shut down everything, power it off, unplug it from the wall, take out the video card, put it in another uh, PCI Express slot, see if that um, then helps, okay, because maybe it's just not seated in there properly. Um, if you're getting a Windows message such as this one, that your drivers stop responding. Well, again, that could very well be that maybe your drivers need to be reinstalled, maybe you need to get an updated version of those drivers, or maybe the graphics card isn't connected properly. It's not making a good connection inside your, your PC. So, again, take it out, reinstall the card, make sure it's clicked in there properly in the slot. Um, again, if that doesn't work, make sure that uh, you reinstall the drivers, upgrade the drivers, make sure that you're not overclocking things and uh, it's overheating make sure that the fan is clean right that there's uh, no dust in there so things like that question two I get tons of questions on you guys trying to buy parts for your PCs or here's a configuration that you want and you want me to look it over well there's just too many configurations so what I've done on my website I put together a couple of uh, different configurations for every budget and uh, I suggest that you check it out because it might help you. you can compare your configuration with the sample configurations that I have on my website. Go to my page that I'll, I'll add the link at the bottom. Check it out. You can click on the links. It'll take you to the website where you can see how much things cost. And you can compare Okay, and see what you're trying to get and what I'm recommending. And from there, you can get a good idea on how much it's going to cost you, will things work together, if I have a part that's very similar to your part and I have a board that's very similar to your board that you're thinking about getting, then odds are it's going to work, right? So use my uh, suggested list of configuration as a guide or maybe you even like my configuration and you just want to purchase those same parts. Question three, is it better to have a CPU with more cores than a CPU with higher frequency? Well, it all depends. For a PC gamer, um, it's better to have, for example, a four-core CPU, a quad-core, with high frequency. That's good enough, okay, instead of getting a six-core. But if you are a graphic artist, a programmer, you're doing a lot of uh, multitasking, multi-threading, uh, you want a hyper-threaded, turbo-enabled, multi-core CPU. Question four, you have a DVD reader, writer, Blu-ray, whatever, that's just vibrating a lot. What could be the causes of that? Well, it could be that the discs that you're using are out of balance, so you bought cheap, cheap discs, basically, okay, for burning. So you might want to try different discs. Uh, the other thing is that maybe your burner is misreading, okay, and it's causing it to run faster, okay, so that could be another possible cause. Question five, uh, for a first-time overclocker, what do I recommend to overclock first? Well, I recommend that uh, you start with the CPU, right? So you go into the BIOS and increase the megahertz slowly, okay? Watch my uh, overclocking videos 101 that I created on how to basically overclock your CPU, a general guide on how to do that. It takes you step by step, gives you good suggestions on how to overclock your CPU, and then after that, do your memory, and then if you want, your graphics card. So keep your questions coming, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.